Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofia and this is Jim. Jim went on a vacation <laughs> for a couple of weeks, but now he is back as you can see. And today Jim will take care of a couple of things that were bother him. One of them was the tattoo. The tattoo was actually my fault. It was the first time that one of my sims got a tattoo in the sims tree. You have many options, uh, as you are about to see in just a second. And I was playing with it and it didn't turn out how I wanted to. But now Jim will get that tattoo removed and he will get another one, now that he has more money. Here we go, he is going to finally get that tattoo moving. Now, one of the things that surprised me is that how realistic this is. As you can see, Jim is shaking, it seems very painful, the tattoo removal process. And I always heard people saying this, like I never got any tattoo because I was afraid I was going to regret it and later on wanted, wanting to remove it and everyone was like, no, like removing tattoos is too painful, don't do that, don't get any tattoos and so I don't have any tattoos because of that. And here in Sims 3 it looks very <laughs> painful too, and it's a game, so it's probably true, which means that in real life it's also very painful. Now, Jim is going to get the new tattoo. In the other episode I didn't show you like everything in the tattoo menu. I believe you just saw the tattoo artist doing the tattoo on Jim, but in this episode I will show you everything because there are so many options for Sims to get uh, when it comes to tattoos in the Sims tree. You have so many designs and you can also change a couple of things. In this case I want for Jim to get a tattoo that is related to the ocean, to the beach, something that will show his personality and I am thinking about one of the tattoos with the wave and the dolphin. I think it will suit Jim very well. But then you can change a lot, a lot of things from colors, the size or as it says in the game, the scale. You can also change the opacity make it brighter or, or should I say darker or lighter. Um, you can do so many things in Sims 3 regarding the tattoos. So I think you will find something that your Sim will enjoy for sure. On this save is already fall and Jim is always getting sick, which we are about to fix that also in a second and I will show you how. But... Uh, uh, it won't show up that much. I should have done this sooner because now with fall he has to wear other types of clothes. But uh, I still want for Jim to get something to remember this summer, to remember his work, uh, everything that has to do with the things that he loves. So we went with this tattoo. But as you can see, you can change a lot of things and... I'm pretty sure you will find something that your sims will really enjoy. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Do you think this is a good tattoo for Jim or he should get another one next? I don't know. <laughs> they are a bit expensive. It is expensive to remove and expensive to get a new one. Which, once again, I think it's very similar to what we have in real life. And I'm not sure why there was only one tattoo artist available and he was mocking Jim when Jim got the tattoo removed and then he mocked Jim again when he got the new tattoo and he kept laughing at Jim and I don't know why. Let's hope that 
tattoo artist never needs help on the beach because I think Jim might, uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe ignoring him when he needs help. Like, why is making fun of Jim? Just kidding. Now, since Jim had the day off, I was thinking that he would get to try the scuba diving part. It's something really cool that we have in the Sims 3 Island Paradise. And at first I thought he needed the gear and I was trying to order from his phone, but nothing showed up. It's not like in the Sims. So I thought he should go to the library and try it on the computer but things went uh, differently from what I was imagining. <laughs> Instead, I found out that Jim can actually get a flu shot from the hospital in the island. Since he is always getting sick, I decided that it was a good idea for him to get a flu shot to see if that helps. I don't know if it is because he is always in the water, because even in summer he was always getting sick, so I am assuming it is because of that. <laughs> After the flu shot, Jim will finally go to a scuba diving spot. Once Jim got there, the only option available was for Jim to snorkel, like he can't do anything related to actually scuba diving just yet so he was snorkeling for a little bit and then i found out that you can actually take scuba diving at least one scuba diving class from the science lab in the island and so i thought it was a good idea for jim to try that out to see if it helps with the scuba diving skill and if he can scuba diving anytime soon <laughs> science lab looks in the sims island paradise it has that sign that has the water and the sun it also lights up since it's almost the end of the day i will add a little time lapse so you can see it. i think it's very cool and at first i was like oh jim is going to a class in his shorts i was like that's not profession at all but then i remember it is a scuba diving class and it is an island i think a chill outfit won't be that bad <laughs> in this case at least you can actually see the sign light up it's so cool so the class helped a little bit with the scuba diving skill so he will go back to one of the scuba diving spots and we will see about that but I think Jim will have to work on that skill a bit more. So I honestly think now that the only way for Jim to improve his scuba diving skill is by snorkel. But uh, it's very late now and he was doing that for a little bit but then I think it's time for Jim to go home to take care of his needs because tomorrow he has work so he needs to be up early in the morning, so I think it's time for him to go home. Jim is really hungry. <laughs> His bladder is also not doing so great. His hygiene, he is also very tired, so he has a lot to do regarding his needs. After he improves his hygiene by taking the shower, he will go to bed because he has to wake up. He needs to wake up early in the morning.
added another time lapse. I love this island so much and I will miss this let's play so much. I love uh, <laughs> I love this uh, concept of the island and the things that you can do. It's a lot different from what we have in The Sims 4 now and it has been a lot of fun. Even in the fall, the island still looks so beautiful, so amazing. I really, really love the island. It's a new day. Jim needs to pay the bills or get to, uh, a gift from the mail. <laughs> it was something like that. He needs to make his bed and he needs to recycle the newspaper. Then he, once again, he is hungry, so he needs to get breakfast soon so he is able to go to work as soon as possible. I am always checking to see if Jim has to clean anything or repair anything, because from the past episodes you see, sometimes Jim life turns into a nightmare and it's not what you think, <laughs> as I have shown you a couple of times. As you can tell, sometimes his houseboat turns into a mess. <laughs> and I don't think it's necessarily his fault because he is always cleaning, he repairs stuff. It's Sometimes it's out of the blue, everything goes wrong. <laughs> Let's hope today it's a bit different. I think Jim will watch TV a little bit before going to work because his son is also not doing so well. <laughs> he needs to be happy to do his work very well. It's finally time for Jim to go to work. Let's see where he is going today for work. I think Jim has a new lifeguard outfit. At least the shorts look different from what we what uh, Jim usually has, and he looks awesome in that new outfit. Well done, Jim. It actually looks like Jim is not kidding around with his career. He looks very, very cool in the new short. At first, I thought Jim was going to a completely different beach. Turns out it's the one that I am usually not very happy about. It is, it is usually very chill, there's not much happening. Today it's completely different <laughs> from what I was expecting. From the moment Jim gets there, there are sims already needing help in the sand, like at least one of them. Soon after, another sim <laughs> collapses on the sand, so Jim is already very busy. Since he got there, he has a lot of work to do, as you can see. The first sim that Jim saved say, Whoa, I don't think I would have survived if it wasn't for you. So he is very grateful for Jim. After he rescued the first sim, there was already another sim that passed on the sand too so so far it seems like there are already three sims on the sand that need help one jim already helped but now there's two more <laughs> such a busy day from the start to for jim <laughs> however for jim to complete his lifetime wish which is the seaside savior wish jim only saved 24 sims from drowning so he still needs to save a lot of sims from drowning and that's when this let's play will end because i want to fully see how the lifeguard career how that lifetime wish goes uh, for jim Jim is now surveyed the area and it's fall, but there are so many sims in the beach. I think it's because it's a weekend <laughs> and they are not working or in school. Some of them are doing homework on the sand and others are reading or others are playing on the water. It seems like such a busy day. I don't think in summer. Uh, Jim saw so many sims on the beach <laughs> and it was summer now it's fall but I don't know they are having fun and Jim already worked a little bit but as I said he needs to rescue drowning sims to complete his lifetime wish <laughs>
daughter needs gym help. So far, this is the first one of the day that is on the water. So Jim now runs much faster. It was one of the promotions that helped Jim with that and also the experience, obviously. So he will help that scene and we will see if he, anyone else need, needs help in the sand. And there's another sim on the sand that needs help. So Jim is very, very busy today. A lot of work. <laughs> I don't know what happened because this beach, it, it usually is pretty much empty. There's not much sims in this beach for some reason. But today it's fall and there are so many sims and they all seem to be getting in trouble. They all seem to need Jim's help, so... At least he has a lot of work, I guess. No loud music during Jim's watch. I am always turning off the radios on the beach. <laughs> he needs to give those sims CPR and fast Jim. <laughs> no, but he's a lot faster now. We, we saw some improvements from the beginning of the Let's Play to what we have now. Also, one interesting thing if you compare The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, it's like in The Sims 4 when there's a fire or something like that, everyone in the household uh, freaks out, they panic, <laughs> they, like you can tell that they are having a hard time. In here there are so many Sims today on the sand having issues waiting for Jim to help them, and yet the other sims are chilling on beach towels, are reading, doing homework, listening to music when I don't turn off their radio, <laughs> uh, playing in the water, like none of them freaks out like in The Sims 4, they, they all panic in The Sims 4 if we had a lifeguard uh, an active lifeguard career in The Sims 4, I'm pretty sure they would all freak out. <laughs> now Jim still needs to rescue 25 Sims to complete the lifetime wish, so it's almost there. It's half of what he needs to do. Not that bad actually. That Sim said, you are a true lifeguard, thanks for saving me. <laughs> they all seem so grateful for Jim. And at least the other Sims let Jim work. It's not like in The Sims 4 that they all freak out. And sometimes it gets very chaotic. In here at least Jim is able to do his thing, to save the Sims. Everything seems very chill. Jim will now improve his charisma skill. He will talk with the Sims in the beach, talking about beach safety as usual, talk about uh, life uh, rescue stories, I guess, and stuff like that. And this will also help his career improve with the charisma skill. I keep checking to see if he's, if anyone is in trouble, so far no one in the water or in the sand is in trouble, which is good, Jim is taking the time to talk with Sims, and as I said before, he is improving his charisma skill that also helps with uh, his lifeguard career in general. <laughs> There's a public bathroom in this beach and for some reason Sims are always struggling. Look at that older scene. <laughs> He's having a hard time, but there's a public bathroom here, so Sims can go there. <laughs> it's fine, really. It's almost the end of the day. Overall, I think it was a good day. Jim worked a lot. Since the moment he got there until the end, at least by talking to the Sims, like I said before, he is giving advice, he is making sure that everyone knows how to enjoy the beach <laughs> and not get in trouble uh, for the most part. 
but it is almost the end of the day. I was thinking for Jim to work on his scuba diving skill, but at the same time I think he's struggling with his own needs, so I think he needs to go home soon. He did end up uh, snorkeling a little bit while he was at this beach, but then again the mood that he needed to go to the bedroom very soon <laughs> showed up and so I decided it was time for Jim to go home, take care of his needs and let's see how everything goes tomorrow. I believe he also has work tomorrow, maybe after work he will be able to do that, we don't know just yet. It also depends on his needs once again but for now he will go home and we will figure it out tomorrow I love this island so so much, even with the trees going orange because it's fall, but it looks so awesome really. Jim is finally home now, he needs to go to the bedroom really badly. <laughs> As I said before, he is also hungry, so he needs to get some food also fast. <laughs> His hygiene is also not doing so well, so he needs to take a shower soon. And then I think he will just go to bed. He is very tired, he worked all day, he still tried to snorkel a little bit. So it was a lot for Jim today. Also, I am seeing that maybe tomorrow he will get another promotion. I'm pretty sure if he gets a busy day like today, <laughs> he will be able to get a promotion and we will see what he gets on the next level of his career. So far it has been amazing, he, he has accomplished so much, so I am looking forward to see what comes next hopefully tomorrow. It's really early in the morning. Jim will make breakfast. I haven't let Jim cook in a while because on an off-screen situation he almost burned down his houseboat. <laughs> it was really bad, but now I think he, he will do better, hopefully. So he will cook his breakfast for the first time in a while. Let's hope everything goes okay. During this let's play so many things happened to this kitchen like in the previously episode or like two episodes ago Jim had to go to work when one of the kitchen supplies uh, broke down. <laughs> And when he got home, everything was filled with water, like water was everywhere, which I think like it is a houseboat, but like it's not supposed to be like that. So he had to fix the sink and then he had to clean everything. And as I said, also off screen a couple weeks, I think it was still summer. Uh, it was a long time now. <laughs> there was also the fire. Um, I didn't uh, record the fire, but it was bad. <laughs> so I, I am always concerned about what Jim will do next or how things will go next. By cooking his breakfast, Jim is now at level 3 in cooking skill. So it's good, nothing <laughs> happened. And he also improved his cooking skills, so it's very nice, nothing bad happened. I think he will watch TV for a little bit because his fun is a bit low again. And then he has to go to work. Jim also got mail, I think uh, today are actually the bills he needs to pay. Let's hope Jim doesn't forget to pay the bills. <laughs> I think he will take care of that before he goes to work, just to be safe. He has to go to work now, 
Let's see to which area he will go today. Let's see if it is as busy as it was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was chaotic for Jim from the start. He saved so many sims. He, he was amazing, really. And the beach is empty. So I'm not really sure how this day will be. <laughs> so far, there's no one inside. It's just Jim. He will survey the area as usual. Let's hope it also helps with the promotion because I think he will get that promotion today. And it means this is, that he is almost at the end of uh, like the lifeguard career. He, I think he is at level 7, I think. 6 or 7. So it is a 10 level career. He is not that far away. Another scene just arrived. <laughs> At least Jim is no longer alone in that beach. Oh, well, it looks like more sims are arriving now, so it's good. At least Jim is not alone there anymore. One is actually going into the water, so maybe there's something there. Another one is also getting in the water. It seems like now it's a bit more busy. Let's see. But so far, still no one needs help. So Jim is still survey the area. He's running around to make sure that no one is in trouble. Let's see how this day goes. But so far, is very chill. nothing is really happening Jim will start to talk to the ones that are in the in there <laughs> he will improve his charisma skill I still think he can get the, the promotion by doing that let's hope for the best because otherwise this is very like slow day for Jim nothing much is really happening It's still a couple hours, a couple of hours until the end of the workday. But from what we can see here, I don't think much will happen. Another thing, Jim was trying to be friendly to that scene. And once again, he was talking about beach safety. Uh, he was sharing rescue stories that uh, he was a part of. And for some reason... At some point, that scene thought Jim was flirting with him and he said something like he doesn't like to flirt. Jim was just talking to you, not being flirty at all. He was just explaining things and that scene didn't take it too well. Oh no. You can see now the notification. It says that that scene doesn't like to flirt. I don't know why that Sim would share something like that to Jim. And Jim was not flirting with him. He was just being friendly, as I said, explaining things. He was actually doing his lifeguard work by talking about safety issues and, and stuff. But that Sim reacted like that. I don't know why. <laughs> It was out of the blue. It's a Sim that actually needs help in the sand. So... Jim is finally starting to work. <laughs> It's something. So many sims are in the water now, but only that one actually needed Jim's help. And he, he is doing his best to rescue that sim. I think now there's only one mermaid in the water. So I need to keep watching the water to see if anyone needs help but it's actually upsetting that nothing much is happening and he is so close to get the promotion and yet now I'm not even sure if he will get the promotion today. <laughs> it's so annoying actually but 
I guess it is what it is and there's nothing else we can do. It's up to other sims because of that Jim will continue to talk to that sim and he will try to improve his charisma skill to see if he, that helps with the promotion. At this point I'm not sure, I hope it does, but it's not, maybe it's not happening. <music> Now Jim learned that Sim is rich. I don't know why, but from time to time Jim is talking to another Sim and out of the blue they let him know <laughs> that they have a lot of money. I don't know why. I think it's funny because in real life I think people try to hide stuff like that. <laughs> but in Sims 3 they seem to be very proud of the fact that they have money and they are rich, so they will share it with everyone, <laughs> I guess. Today has been such a boring day, really, like nothing is happening. Yesterday so much happened <laughs> and I don't know what to do, really. Jim will talk with more sims, but to be honest, today it's not it. Much work to do, I don't know. I am still checking to see if there's anyone that needs help on the water or on the sand, but once again nothing much is happening besides Jim talking to other sims and that one lady that needed help. It's not a good day, not a good day at all for Jim. And it's so annoying because he is so 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 close to get that promotion. But now I don't think he will get that promotion today from the looks of it. <music> got the promotion. <laughs> Let's read what it says. Congratulations, Jim has been conferred the new title of Eagle Eye by the Isle of Paradise Town Council in recognition of his valuable contributions to the workforce. The lifeguard share as your urge. <laughs> you watch the seas like a hawk. You can spot a sim in distress from a mile away, then cover that distance in no time flat. Jim can now run like the lifeguarding the legends. Oh well, that's very good for Jim. I'm so happy for him. He finally got that promotion. So Jim is now at level 8 in the lifeguard career. He is making more money, obviously, and... Uh, one of the perks, it's actually that he can run in slow motion. I will show you that in the next episode because it actually is really funny to see. And he has the same working hours and he still has the same working days. I think he will have the same working days until the end of this Let's Play. 
that doesn't change much. He still has to work on his athletic skill and charisma skill. So that's actually it for today's episode. I hope you enjoy it. It has been a while. But as always, if you are into Sims builds, storytelling, if you enjoy Sims in general, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in the next episode.